Steph's Exmouth shop. He began on a, a skateboard with a, a beer barrel underneath it. Keep the weight low, centre of effort low. To get a bit of a feel of the even weight distribution that you need for hydrofoiling is to switch off quite a lot of the big muscles in your body and to start working the small muscles. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Straight in there, wouldn't he? It's natural. It's just a balance thing, isn't it? And I'm sort of all right at balancing. Wicked. Yay! <laughs> yeah. It's really good. <laughs> Next guy takes to the local River X. He's never experienced being pulled behind a boat before, so starts off on a simple surfboard with no hydrofoil underneath. He's doing amazing. First time up on a surfboard, I've got hope for the lad. I wasn't doing somersaults or anything, but I could ride behind the boat when I could move left and right. We were like, hang on, this guy's he's on it. Let's get the foil board out. I thought, what's the problem, officer? What's the problem, officer? Give it here. Give it here. I'll have a go at that. So this is the mast. Yeah. OK, this is the fuselage. Yeah. And this is the front wing and this is the back wing. It's a work of art. Didn't you look at all the machining? The machining processes that's going on that. Guy prepares to foil board for the very first time. OK. Yes. It's hard. That's good. Right. It's not something you can learn fast because it's a real feel thing. And there's not really a sport that you can say that's exactly the same as hydrofoiling. How are we feeling, Guy? Good? My God. If I tried it once, I tried it 50 times and crashed every single time. Less is more. Hydrofoiling is a very small movement. To find that sweet spot that is akin to flying. Initially, to get upright, loads of weight on the back. And then as soon as you get upright, loads of weight on the front. But not too much weight, because you go over the handlebars. And all that water intimately out. There's no broken bones. Oh, I'm a bit sore. But Guy refuses to leave the water, even for a call of nature, until he's foiled at least once. Are you doing a wee now? Just as we're speaking, man. Looking you boys in the eyes while I'm in the wood. <laughs> Relieved, he tries once again. But this time, hydrofoils clean out of the water. It was a hell of a smash. Did you see? <laughs> this leg's sore. That's took a smack. That's a bit sore. You can see the screw heads coming out of there. My arms have felt better. They're all right. Hey, you're not going to get me to... I'm not going to start breaking down here and saying... <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I've been in better form, to be honest. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> and then... After persisting for three hours, Guy finally cracks it. Guy has definitely got up hydrofoiling for a small moment of time and flown. Yeah, but, but come on, come on, come on, followed by a crash. <laughs> Guy's day has shown that using hydrofoils to break a world record is going to be incredibly difficult. 